Welcome to A Guide to Every Deck in Modern. Today we're looking at Heliod Combo. Heliod Combo is a creature-centric combo deck in the same vein as decks like Yawgmoth. It seeks to use Heliod Suncrown in combination with Spike Feeder to gain infinite life, or use Walking Ballista to deal infinite damage, or Spike Feeder plus a Conclave Mentor to deal infinite damage. There are three combos in the deck, but all involve Heliod. Depending on which one and what you already have in play, it will usually cost between 4 and 6 mana. 1. You can activate Spike Feeder's life gain ability and target it with Heliod's plus 1 counters, removing and replacing the counter on it to gain infinite life. This will often be enough to win the game, but some decks can still win even when you're at infinite. 2. Heliod can target Walking Ballista with its lifelink ability. Then, as long as Ballista has at least two counters on it, you can ping your opponent, dealing one and gaining one, triggering Heliod to put the second counter back on Ballista and repeating for infinite damage. With a Heliod already in play, this line requires six mana since you need four for Ballista and two for Heliod's activation, although Oriok Champion or Conclave Mentor can compensate for two of that mana. 3. With Heliod, Spike Feeder, and Conclave Mentor, you can do the same life game loop as before, except Mentor will increase the counters added back to Spike Feeder, putting infinite plus one counters on it. You can then repeat the loop and put plus one counters on all your other creatures. Then, as long as you have more attackers than there are blockers, attack for infinite damage. Collected Company is your best card and can stumble your way into infinite life if you find both Heliod and Spike Feeder, though this is rare. The Ballista combo is inaccessible though since Ballista will die if you put it in with Coco. Arbor Elf and Utopia Sprawl are to ramp and in combination can generate 4 mana on turn 2. Your best starts involve a turn 2 Coco, though again this is rare. There are also versions that play alternate ramps such as Birds of Paradise and Noble Hierarch since always having access to a turn 1 forest can be demanding. Oriok Champion gains life upon creatures entering and can thus enable the combo with less mana or provide a buffer against removal. It's also a thorn in the side of decks like Murktide and Death Shadow since its color protections make it hard for them to deal with. Conclave Mentor performs a similar combo enabling function. Ranger Captain has a number of roles. It finds Ballista and can protect the combo against non-creature removal, although it notably doesn't stop things like Solitude. It's also a counter to the Cascade decks. Finally, Skyclave Apparition is removal against any number of threats and hate pieces. The deck wants either two Ballistas or a card like Eternal Witness to rebuy it if it gets countered, or since you'll sometimes want to cast Ballista pre-combo turn. Although the combo is the deck's main game plan, it can also potentially win via mid-range creature beats using Ranger Captain, Conclave Mentor, and Heliod if it gets turned on. Gavany Township is sometimes played as a way to enable this and is especially good in combination with Conclave Mentor. However, it may not be worth it since the deck is very color-hungry, including Arbor Elf, Utopia Sprawl, and many double white pip cards such as Oriok Champion. Sideboarding and how to beat it. The least valuable cards in a given matchup are typically Skyclave Apparition and some amount of Oriok Champions. Between Champion and Mentor, Mentor is usually the better card. You can also cut Arbor Elf and or Utopia Sprawl in grindy matchups with a lot of creature removal. The sideboard is a mix of hate cards and protection. Since all of the deck's combos involve creatures, instant speed removal is a good way to fight it. You can also stop its combos via Pithing Needle effects. The order of priority for which cards to name are Spike Feeder first, then Ballista, then Heliod. Torpor Orb is effective since, although it doesn't stop any of the combos, it shuts off Oriok Champion, Ranger Captain, and most importantly, Skyclave. With Orb shutting off Apparition, additional permanent-based hate cards become much harder for the deck to deal with since it runs few if any other answers. The best times to interact with Heliod are in response to the first target of its abilities. Playing the deck, I often found that players would not understand the combo and cast removal prematurely, allowing me to activate Spike Feeder in response and go off. This is part of the reason why Oriok Champion and Conclave Mentor are valuable, since they give you an additional plus one counter as a buffer against any responses. At one point, Heliod was one of the best decks in the format. A large reason for this was that decks lacked good removal for Heliod himself. With the printing of Modern Horizons, Prismatic Ending entered the format and Heliod's stock dropped dramatically. Things have only gotten worse since then, and I now consider Heliod to be a worse version of the Yawgmoth deck, though it's still viable. Tips and Tricks Heliod can target himself with his plus one counter ability even if he's not a creature, though this is hardly ever relevant. Against red and black decks, you can load up Oriok Champion with counters from Heliod and win that way. If Ballista only has one counter on it, you can use Pendlehaven to start the combo for one less mana. If you're running Noble Hierarch, you can attack with Ballista and use the Exalted trigger the same way. These tricks also work for Spike Feeder to give you an additional buffer against instant speed responses. Like the Yawgmoth deck, some versions of Heliod will run Magus of the Moon. Choose whether to do so based on the metagame. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Heliod combo. 
I want to thank my fellow players in the Magic community for whom sharing their experiences helps make these guides possible. You can find additional resources, such as an up-to-date deck list, in the description. If you think I left out anything important or got something wrong, please leave your thoughts in the comments, and stay tuned to see what deck we look at next time.